CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. Last time with Josh Cash, take the shine of training. So. <laughs> Probably does a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's never it's never easy to drop a catch and to deal with that emotion afterwards, especially coming off such a high of you know what how un- today unfolded. But um, yeah, I guess it's the nature of the game. Uh, we did you know let ourselves down a little bit in the end there with with two drop catches, but yeah, it's it's the way the game goes, and, and hopefully we'll we'll catch them tomorrow. How did you feel walking out there at the beginning of the day? Um, knowing that where your team was and, and possibly yourself in terms of going forward. Did that hand, how much does that hand me? Yeah, look, there was obviously a bit of butterflies around and I knew that today is going to be a big day for us in terms of our team and for me personally. Um, so it was just about staying focused and, you know, taking one ball at a time. And, you know, fortunately for me, it, it worked out well. Um, but I think the, the most important thing for today was the fact that we built a, a great partnership, myself and Avi, that was you know, the main focus going in today. Um, we always speak about trying to get a partnership of about 120 plus, so we're pretty, pretty happy that we did that today. And uh, yeah, so we're obviously in a, in a really good posi- position at the moment. Jeffy, um, what do you think was the key to scoring on this wicket? And also, what role do you think you'll play with the ball? Yeah, the key to scoring, I thought Australia bowled really well. You know, hit really good areas, um, pretty straight line. So I think the key was to just stay patient and, you know, wait for that bad ball because, you know, with not losing any wickets in the first session, we were always going to get an opportunity to score at some stage. Um, And just sticking to your game plans. You know, I was, my game plan against the, against Lyon was to try and sweep him and, you know, try and get my scoring options out there. Uh, and it worked really well today. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'm going to have to play a part with the ball at some stage tomorrow or the next day. Um, so that's going to be key is just to make sure that I'm you know, playing my role and that's to possibly hold up and in and try and get a few wickets with that. So we'll see how it goes. JP, I know you only moved one place down in the batting order, but does that have some kind of effect? Is it a bit of a wake-up call thinking, oh, maybe I'm you know, in danger here They move me down the batting order? No, I didn't think of it th- that way. Um, look, uh, my thinking going into the game was that, you know, I've done the job before sort of marshalling the low, lower order. Um, and that was my role going forward. Fortunately enough, we I batted with AB for a long period of time, which was, which doesn't really matter in the end where, you, where you're batting. You're batting with the top order batter, so it's, you know, it's pretty much free fall. Um, so, yeah, I wasn't really worried about moving one down. We obviously hit good areas, um, but I think the difference is, you know, the Aussies are always going to come out fighting and, you know, they're always going to play their shots and fortunately enough that sort of played into our hands today, um, which created opportunities for us and we knew that was going to be the case. Unfortunately, we, like I said earlier, we, we dropped one or two chances, but um, hopefully we'll get a few more tomorrow. Uh, coming here is always a bit different with the band and the crowd and everything. What do you make of the support and the noise? And the- yeah, I thoroughly enjoy playing in PE. Um, you know, when, when the band is screaming JP or Lekker Ding, it's always something, you know, it raises a bit of goosebumps. And so, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I'm sure there'll be a few more people in tomorrow you know, being Saturday, so hopefully the crowd can get behind us and, and we can produce the results. JP, um, does it feel the same when a batsman nicks one and he's given not out and you don't use the review as when you drop a catch? <laughs> uh, I guess there is a similarity in the way we feel. Um, but yeah, we, I guess if we, we think about it now, we we're, we're pretty confident that he nicked it, but because we only had one left and it was the night watchman who we weren't too sure to take it. Um, but yeah, a chance is a chance and we've got to take it, uh, no matter which way it comes. And yeah, like I said, hopefully we'll take more tomorrow. JP, you didn't obviously play against Australia uh, in the tour there at the end of 2012 and that was quite a disappointing thing for you. What's the feeling just coming up against this opposition that you've had so much success against in the past and now you've had success again? Yeah, it's a, it's a great achievement for me. Um, you know, obviously missing out, like you mentioned, uh, in 2012, it was, I was pretty amped to, to make sure that I put in big performances, you know, against the Aussies, especially 
you know, with, with the, the ashes that I've had and the success that I've had, it was important for us to, not, not only me, but for, for us as individuals to, to put in those big performances. So, you know, it's, it's all about staking the claim and, you know, staking your opportunity. So hopefully there'll be a, more, a couple more opportunities for, for us to take a claim. In terms of the, um, the hours in the field, it's the longest stint Australia's had since almost a year. Was that a noted objective when you started today to really make them suffer in the, um, in the field for as long as possible? Yeah, I guess in the back of our mind, we knew that if we kept them in the field for a long period of time, that it will wear down on them. Uh, like you mentioned, we know that you know, they haven't really been out in the, in the field for, for a long period of time. So it was, it was definitely a game plan of ours. And we knew that um, you know, if we get the ball in the right area, especially when we, we, when we bowled, you know, there'll be a little bit of tired legs and, and tired eyes, so um, hopefully we can capitalise on that tomorrow. Let's be good with taking opportunities. Wayne for now, certainly, could be as when he can. Definitely. Um, you know, I was looking at the speed gun. He was up at the mid-140s as well, so it was great to see him hitting his straps and, um, you know, just grabbing his opportunity. So hopefully he can strike a few more for us tomorrow. Uh, just... In the 150 hours that they batted, or that you guys batted, very few balls carried to the slips when they were mixing stuff and there was a lot of bounce going on. Were you surprised at the amount of bounce that Mourne seemed to get from a big league? Yeah, yeah, I think we were. Um, we, look, I knew, well, we knew that the bounce was only going to be with the new ball and we're going to try and capitalise as much as possible with that, especially on this wicket. So we know that tomorrow, maybe the first 10 overs will be a little bit of carry, but after that we're going to have to be box smartly. Um, maybe set straighter fields and so forth. So, yeah, it's a, it's a big job ahead of us for tomorrow. Joby, um, is there a, a follow on plan? You know, if you guys get close and. Look, there's still, what, six weeks to go. We haven't really thought that far ahead yet. I think the immediate, or tomorrow morning for sure, we'll, we'll definitely try and get the, the six wickets. And um, obviously, it depends on how, how much runs they get, if they, if they get any or if they, they're bad for a long period of time. So we're going to have to wait and see how, how tomorrow unfolds.